Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Welcome. Thank you. Let's wait a few minutes for the rest of the people. Mm -hmm. Okay.
Okay, everybody, welcome to the class. It's a pleasure to be with you. I hope you had a very nice weekend and that you rested very well. And of course, I hope you had practiced English. Okay, so we're going to start with the platform. You know, the second week is always a little bit longer. So this is going to be the uh, class number six. And here is uh, the question in case you want to participate. Okay, there is no homework for tonight. So, and now we're going to check about the attendance, of course. Okay, Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez. Present teacher. Good. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. David Samuel <coughs> Galdames Monterrosa. Present teacher. Good. Dora Elizabeth Flores Mendez. Present. Good. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Good. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Good. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present teacher. Good. Jarvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Jose Marcos Rodriguez Ayala. Present. Good. Jose Osmin Rivas Navas. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present. Good. Juan Miguel Bran Mejía. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Roberto Luis Umaña Orellana. Roxana Ivette Asensio de Mejía. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Good. Jessica Janari Cortez Díaz. I'm here. Good. Zuleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Good. Erwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher. Perfect. Very good. So we're going to start the class of tonight. And uh, thank you, Jose. I'm going to check it right now. Reset. Okay. So we're going to check about the class of tonight. So we actually were going to start with the book. Okay. So here we go. Okay, this one says how to use periods, part one. Okay, so of course, you know what is a period and you know how to use it, but in English, sometimes there are some differences. Anyways, we're gonna check into that one. Remember that as I was telling you, uh, this is a focus on writing essays and things like that one or emails or things like that one, okay? So, uh, we are gonna read about this one. Let's see, William Ramirez, could you please help me read in the chart? How to use periods, part one. Okay, okay look at the examples in the, in the box, then complete the practice below. A period. How do you say the word, teacher? Period or period? Period. Period. Yeah. Uh, a, a period that helps mark the end of a sentence and the beginning of a new one. However, periods are also used with words or phrases that do not necessarily express completed ideas. Uh, use a period after the end of a sentence to avoid a run, run on sentence. Number one, all supervisors have been called to the meeting next week. It will take place in the meeting room on the third floor. Number B, all supervisors have been called to the meeting next week. It will take place in the meeting room on this third floor. Run on. Okay, continue, please. Okay, um, use a period after 
abbreviation like Mrs. Mr. Uh, jun junior Carp Inc. AM PM uh, EG example given. Um, use a period after element of list when those elements are necessary to complete the grammatical meaning of the introductory sentence. At the meeting, it was agreed that the supervisor of each unit should follow up on. Um, A, solace increase. B, reduction of production cost. And C, ongoing staff training. Don't use period after each element in the list when the introductory statement is grammatically complete. Be sure to request everything for the next meeting. Uh, letter A, uh, 15 copies of the sales report. Letter B, one projector. And letter C, one set of speakers. Very good, perfect. Okay, so uh, yes, a period helps mark the end of a sentence. This is the first part, okay? The end of a sentence and the beginning of a new one. That is something that you already know, of course. And it says, however, periods are also used with words or phrases that do not necessarily express complete ideas, okay? So number one says use a period after the end of a sentence to avoid a run on sentence. A run on uh, is like a mistake, a grammar mistake. I mean, it's like uh, when you put two ideas that are separated together, but they shouldn't be like that. So that is a run on, okay? So in this case, when you have together two sentences or more in a paragraph, for example, you need a period when the first sentence is finished. So that is it. For example, all supervisors have been called to the meeting next week, period. There we need a period. It will take place in the meeting room on the third floor. So you can see they are different ideas. Maybe they're related, but the sentences are different. In the letter B, there is the run on. That is a run on. It's an example of what not to do. So for example, all supervisors have been called to the meeting next week. It will take place in the meeting room. On the, you can see how it's, it's not good, right? If you read that all together, it is not good. So that is the first part, the first example. Second one, it says, use a period after abbreviations, like Mr. S Mr. Junior Corporate Incorporate AM PM example given. So, you know that one already, but please remember, we need to put the period there. So that is going to be correct. And the last part, it says, use a period after elements of lists when those elements are necessary to complete the grammatical meaning of the introductory sentence. So that means that you are going to put a period when the elements in the list are part complement the grammatical meaning, the, the introductory sentence. For example, at the meeting, it was agreed that the supervisor of each unit should follow up on sales increase, period, reduction of production costs, period, ongoing staff training, period. So this is because A, B, and C are part of the introductory sentence. So they are all together but we do not use periods after each element in the list when the introductory statement in gram is grammatically complete, grammatically complete, right? Be sure to request everything for the next meeting. So that is complete, okay? So the other one like, are like examples or something like that. 15 copies of the sales report, one projector, one set of speakers. So that is it. And this part, whenever when we're speaking about a list, when it's part of the, or, or if they complete the grammatical meaning, meaning of the introductory sentence, then yes, we must use a period. Do you have any questions about this little grammar? Questions, my friends? Mm -hmm. 
clear as horchata. Good. Okay, so uh, I hope you have the book there, or if it's printed out, it's better. Well, now we're going to do the exercise and nine. We're going to read the email and add the missing periods related to the uses explained in the box above. And then, of course, we're going to compare. So this is the email. It's going to be kind of easy. But of course, I'm going to give you a few minutes for you to complete it, OK? If you need me to, to show you the grammar box, just let me know. And of course, I will move the, uh, the book here. So uh, take a look and then uh, tell me what will be it. So I will give you a few minutes. Okay, did you finish or do you need more time? A couple of minutes more, teacher. Of course, definitely. I'm gonna wait. Okay. Perfect. So let's check together. Everybody finished already? Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, where is going to be the first period that is missing? Mrs. Very good. Dear Mrs. Loza. Okay. And the next one? Email. Period. Mm -hmm. Very good. Thank you for your last email. Period. Right. And the next one? P dot M dot after 1 p.m. Okay. Very good. After 1 p.m. That is another one. And is that so? Everybody no. agrees? No. After okay. the end of the date, 2018. Uh, yeah, it might be. Yeah, September 24, 2018, period. Yeah, that would at be the, a good one. Any other? At the end of each sentence or from the from each bullet. Very good. Yes, mm -hmm. at the end of a yeah. drink, a piece of pastry, a meal, a piece of dessert, and coffee. At the end, we're going to put a period. So that is very important. You see, it's very, very easy, right? Hey, Claire, I have a doubt. In that case, after a bullet, there is a, a period, ending period. So the next one shouldn't be starting with a capital letter? Uh, not necessarily, ah, okay. because it's part of a list. Uh, uh -huh. It's possible, but here, like that, is is fine. That is mostly in Spanish, right? In Spanish, it's a, it's a must, definitely. Okay. 
Okay, thank you. Very good, perfect. Any other question? No question. Do you remember what is a soft drink? What is that? Something like a soda or something like that. Very good. No, without like, alcohol. That is it. Like a soda, something like that. And pastry, do you remember what is pastry? It's a sweet bread or, or, or cake. Very good. That is like sweet bread or anything like that one. The one that we really love with coffee, right? <laughs> Okay, and there was another one. The caterer says, what is a caterer? Who is Sylvan de Mille? Very good, it's a company that uh, their, the service is to provide food for an event or anything like that one. It's catering, the pronunciation, catering. Yeah, catering, yeah, catering. Oh, okay, catering, thank you. Pretty good, perfect. Nice, so we are going to move on to the next part of grammar in the book. The dog agreed. Let's see. So now, how to use verbs followed by a pro or a pronoun, I mean a pronoun or a noun, and an infinitive. So that will be it. Uh, let's see, uh, it's gonna help me reading this time. Erwin Lagos. Hey, okay. How to use verb followed by a pronoun and infinity. Look at the example in the box. Then complete the exercise below. Some verbs are commonly followed by noun or a pronoun before they take the infinity complete. Verb plus pronoun and infinity. The most common verbs use it is in the panel include the following. Advice, allow, encourage, expect, invite, need, permit, tell, want, and one. Sorry, one. Example, a professional presents advice everybody to prepare a detailed draft of the points that will be developed at the, in the presentation. Season presenters encourage shy the super nervous present to take the advantage for any public speaking opportunity to get right of the fear. And the San Miguel branch invite the South Department personnel for attend a public speaking training. My supervisor needs me to organize a nice slide presentation before next Friday. Human resource permit the sick employee to leave the conference room before it needed. Then it manage want these persons to be training on how to give effect presentations. Very good, perfect. So uh, this is how to use verbs followed by either a noun or a pronoun and an infinitive. So well, first of all, remember that the infinitive is to and the verb, like to be, to go, to sit, to uh, whatever, right? And some verbs commonly followed by a noun or a pronoun before they take the infinitive complement. So the formula is very simple. Verb plus either a noun or a pronoun plus infinitive. And it says the most common verbs used in this pattern include the following. Advice, what is to advise, everybody? Aconsejar. Give a guidance. Okay. Very good to provide a guidance, a guide on something. Allow, what is to allow? To permit. To permit, very good. Encourage, what is to encourage? Mm, similar to cheer up. Cheer up, very good. When you're pushing somebody, right? Expect, what is to expect? To be waiting something? Exactly, when you're looking forward for something to happen, right? Uh, invite is very easy, need, permit, tell, want, and warn. What is warn, the last one? Um, I have no idea. <laughs> warn. Like a type of advice, but it's like stronger than advice. It's like, a, I don't know if from here comes like the warning. Word. Yes, yes. Yeah. Very well. So yeah, yeah. Warn is like that one. Like when you say watch out, 
be careful. So something like that one, okay? It's like an advice, but a consequence is coming if you do mm -hmm. not take the advice. Ah, okay. Very good, perfect. So, and here are some examples on what we're discussing right now. For example, uh, professional presenters advise, and there is a verb, everybody. Everybody is the noun, okay? So remember that the formula is verb plus pronoun or noun plus infinity. So everybody is the noun. To prepare, and that is going to be like the, um, the verb, right? The uh, infinitive. To prepare a detailed draft of the points that will be developed in the presentation. So that is it. Okay, and then it says seasons, presenters encourage, and that is the main verb, shy and super nervous presenters. All of that one is the noun. Okay, everything is like a noun. To take advantage, so that is going to be like the infinitive of any public speaking opportunity to get rid of their fear. So that's it. Number, oh well, letter C, the San Miguel branch invited which is the verb, the sales department personal, which is going to be the whole thing, to attend, that is going to be the infinitive, a public speaking training. Letter D, my supervisor needs, main verb, me, which is going to be like the pronoun, to organize, it's going to be the infinitive, a nice slide presentation before next Friday. Okay. Letter E says human resources permitted, which is the verb, the sick people, which is the noun, to leave, which is the infinitive, the conference room before it ended. And the last one, it says the IT manager wants, main verb, is personal, the uh, noun or, yeah, the noun in this case, to be trained, it's going to be like the infinitive on how to give effective presentations so that will be it do you have any questions my friends no questions okay that is good okay if you don't have any questions we're going to complete yes this. i have a, a a question to general sorry i wasn't mute is there like a kind of list or all the birds can be used as Noun or pronoun? Uh, well, the verbs that can be used with infinitive can be used in this formula. So verbs plus the pronoun or noun plus the infinitive. But it should be the ones that can be used with infinitive. Do you remember that we were discussing that some verbs mm -hmm. can be used only with infinitive? Some mm -hmm. other verbs can be used only with gerunds. And there are some verbs that can be used either by an infinitive or a gerund. So, and how to identify or how to know <laughs> which one belongs to? By heart. You need to learn. Oh you need to God. memorize <laughs> that. Okay. Okay. I actually have a, another website here that we're going to check. So we check other examples and other verbs. By now, okay. we're going to start with this one. Okay. Thank you. Good. Perfect. Do you have any other question before we move on to the exercise? Okay, so this is the exercise. Complete the sentences with the words in parentheses. Remember to use the correct form of the verbs. And in the parentheses, you will find the main verb, the subject, let's say, or not subject, but the noun, and uh, the second verb. That it's going to be kind of easy, I believe. So my friends, I will give you a few minutes for you to complete this exercise. If you have questions, let me know. And then we're gonna check together. Six sentences. Mm -hmm. By the way, I was checking that one today in the platform and there is an error in the oh exercise tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna check it. I'm gonna check okay. it because uh, I need to report that one, but thank you for that. Sure.
Okay, have you finished already? Yes. Perfect, so let's check together. Number one, who wants to share number one? Me? Okay, go ahead, please. Okay, is the main reason people believe they are poor presenters is because they have allowed to grow negative thoughts, thoughts uh, until creating a negative image of themselves. Okay, I, actually, uh, go ahead. I was confused if to use to allow or I was confused in that. Okay, let's check on that one. So uh, everybody agrees on uh, the number one? Mm -hmm. I, I have this. The main reason people believe they are poor presenters is because they have to allow those to well, until, mm -hmm. creating, until creating a negative image of themselves. But I think if it's right. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have two different opinions. Anybody else wants to to provide this, what you have? Huh? This teacher is the same that the first one, the main reason people believe they are poor presenters is because they have allowed negative thoughts to grow until creating a negative image of themselves. Perfect. That is the one. So that is exactly the one. So yes. it's going to be perfect. Nice. Very good. So the main reason people believe they are poor presenters is because they have allowed with ED, right? Because have yes. is the auxiliary, right? Uh, have allowed negative thoughts to grow. Mm, okay, negative. Yes, to grow. Good. Until creating a no. negative image of themselves. Very good. Everybody? Okay. okay, that's good. Perfect. Yes. Good. So, how is going to be number two? Anybody wants to share number two? Me, teacher. Okay. An effective tool to get rid of stage fright is for presenters to tell themselves to focus on the audience and not. On the on the fear, perfect, very good. So an effective thought to get rid of stage fright is for presenters to tell themselves to focus on the audience and not on their fear. Good question. What is to get rid? Despojarse. In English, try to explain in English. In, in English, is to to um, uh, throw out. <laughs> okay. Something like that. <laughs> nice, very good. So yeah, yes. that will be like to get rid of when you don't want something and you yes. take it out. You right? take, you take. <laughs> okay, good. And what is stage fright? It's when people eat... in Spanish, we use the word panic. It's like panic, yeah. It's like when you don't That's want to be panic. in front of uh -huh. people. Right? They are in front of others. In Spanish, we use the word panic. Yeah, we, we use that one. In English, the, the name of that one is stage fright. So stage fright. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so and that is very common sometimes. Right? I hope you don't mm -hmm. have that one. Very good. So number three, who wants to share number three? Me? Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Okay. The specialist advised presenters to design it visually engagement presentation to avoid boring the audience. Okay, very good. So specialists advise presenters to design visually engaging presentation to avoid boring the audience. That is going to be the one. Good. <laughs> Okay, so now uh, Marcus, number four. Okay. Uh, public speaking coaches invite presenters to open their presentation with a thought-provoking question. Very good. So public speaking coaches invite presenters to open their presentation with a thought-provoking question. Sometimes that happens, right? Sometimes the first thing that happens in the presentation is a question. So that's kind of interesting. Good, who wants to share number five? Uh, 
I have it. It's a new one. Okay. okay, go ahead. Number five, the boss wanted us to go over the organization checklist to make sure everything is ready for tomorrow's presentation. Very good. Perfect. So that is it. The boss wants us to go to go over the organization checklist to make sure everything is ready for tomorrow's presentation. In that case is once at the third person, right? Once. Once, yeah. Okay. I guess I don't remember if that is the one with the issue in the platform. Mm, okay, very good. I'm going to check into mm -hmm. that one. Nice. Okay, and number six, who wants to share number six? Maybe. Okay. <clears throat> Human resources expected everybody, everybody to arrive on time for the presentation on how to deal with the stress at the workplace. Okay, very good. That is it. Human resources. But, uh -huh. but they were stressful. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, very good. So yeah, human resources expects everybody to arrive on time for the presentation on how to deal with stress at the workplace. Very good. You see, it's very easy. The only thing that we need to do is to remember, well, first of all, the formula, and then which verbs are possible to be used with the infinitive. Actually, we're going to check into that one more in deep in with this one, okay? So, uh, verb, object, to, and infrared. So, we are going to use uh, the verb, an object, and to, and the infinitive. After some verbs, we use the structure someone, to, infinitive, okay? Verbs which can be followed by this form include one, ask, tell, would like, advise, allow, expect, encourage, force, help, invite, order, pursue, and need. So, uh, as I was telling you, there are many other verbs. Not, at, not all of those can be used in this form, but some of those, of course. And the negative form is object, not to, and the infinitive, okay? And it says we need, with need, help, and one, we use the standard negative of don't, or didn't, or etc. Okay? So, which verbs can be used in this form? Want, ask, tell. Would like, advise, allow, expect, encourage, force, help, invite, order, pursue. What is to pursue? Almost like convince. To convince something in that one, right? So you provide some uh, like points of view and to convince. Okay. And there are some examples. Like they help the neighbor to fix his car. So you can see the form is the same, right? Help, which is the main verb. They enable it, which is the object or like the noun. To fix, which is the infinitive, his car. She asked me, okay? She asked, which is the verb, me, which is the object, to give, okay, which is the infinitive, her some advice. He told, which is the verb, his assistant, uh, which is the object or the noun, to send, which is the infinitive, the parcel. She pursued it, which is the verb, him, which is the noun, to have, which is the infinitive, lunch with her. We need, which is the verb, someone, that is the noun, to help us, to help, which is the infinitive. And the other one says, as the negative, she advised me not to sell my house. So here we're not going to use don't or anything like that one, right? So she advised me not to, okay? She told him not to do it, okay? But remember that we need help and want, we're going to use like the regular. I don't need you to help me, thanks. So that is like the regular way with these verbs. Any questions for this? Okay, so it says the following sentences, I'll uh, have a verb object to infinitive structure, complete each sentence by putting words 
in breaks into the correct form. So there are the 10 sentences that we're gonna work on. I'm gonna give you a few minutes for you to finish and then we're going to compare together, okay? So I will give you a few minutes for you to finish. Okay, have you finished or do you need a little bit more time? One minute more, teacher. Of course.
Okay, finish. Okay, has everybody finished or do you need more time? Okay, let's check. So my boss, uh -huh, what do you want me to type? Told me to do the reports before Friday. Told me to do like this. Yes, where are you typing? Sorry, sorry, I, I looking another one. Told me to do, yes. Okay, very good, perfect. Nice, everybody agrees? Yes. Okay, so number two says my colleague asked. Me to send. Okay, yeah. me to send an email to the customer. Okay, very good. Number three, Tom wanted. Me to help. Yeah, me to help. Me to help him prepare his presentation. Very good. Uh, number four, uh, how's gonna be that? I want. I want him not to drive too quickly because of the bad weather. Okay, so uh, the first word is he, right? Him. Okay, okay, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Not to. Warning him not to drive. Like yeah. this. Yes. Yeah. All right. Yes. Number, okay. Too quickly because of the bad weather. Yeah, that is yes. a good advice. Number five, please remind. Remind me to call. To call. Mr. Mr. Jones, right, tomorrow yes. morning. Good. Okay, and number six, uh, please tell. King. Not to smoke. Very good. Mm -hmm. Oh, please tell him not to smoke. Here is not allowed. Good. Number seven, Marta didn't feel too good, but we persuaded her to come. To come. Very good. To the party. To the party. Ah, well. That's not good, anyways. Number mm -hmm. eight, nobody wanted to go to the conference, but our boss forced us to go. Okay, nobody wanted to go to the conference, but our boss forced us to go. Not good either. Number nine, I asked her. Her not. To call. Very good. Her so not to call. So late in the evening. So late. Very, good. Mm -hmm. Very good. And number 10, our boss allowed oh. us to, to, go go home early. to go home early yesterday. Okay. All right. Here comes the moment of the truth. Mm -hmm. Of course, you are so good, and this is a hundred. Nice. So, can you see how uh, easy is this one? I mean, just remember the verbs, okay? Want, ask, tell, would like, advise, allow, expect, encourage, force, help, invite, order, pursue, and need. There are some other verbs. I don't remember if I have the other list, but there's another list that I can send you via email or oh, on the WhatsApp. So you can check into that one, okay? So do you guys have any questions before we move on? Very easy, right? Okay, so by now we're gonna check the attendance. Let me just check something here very quickly. Okay. Okay, let me then just check the attendance so we can continue. Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez. Present teacher. Good. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. David Samuel Galdames Monterrosa. Present teacher. Good. Dora Elizabeth Flores Mendez. Present. 
Good. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Good. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Good. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Good. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present teacher. Good. Jarvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present teacher. Good. Jose Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present teacher. Good. Jose Ospin Rivas Navas. Present teacher. Good. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Juan Miguel Brand Mejía. Present teacher. Good. Present Ramón teacher. En... Okay, good. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Roberto Luis Umaña Orellana. Roxana Iper Asensio de Mejía. Present. Good. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Good. Jessica Janari Cortez Díaz. I'm here. Good. Zuleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Good. Erwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher. Perfect, my friend. So we're going to continue. Uh, not this, but this. Okay. So this is the other one I was telling you about. Okay, so says um, below are verbs that are used with pronouns or nouns and an infinitive with particle two or an infinitive without the particle two. Okay. So let's close this thing. There are some examples and we have, for example, advice. So advise somebody or to do something, right? The doctor advised her to take this medicine. So I advised her and to take. You can see that is exactly what we were checking. Allow, he allowed me to use his computer. The same structure, ask. Mother asked us to help her. Again, the same structure. This is a new verb. Uh, I know that you are asking about which verbs are the ones who, that we can use in this one. Beg, what is to beg? To ask something, but in a, mm, I don't know, in a, in a insistent way, maybe. Okay. Very good, that is like to beg, like when you say, please, 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 buy me a new car, <laughs> mm -hmm. something like that. Okay, so they begged us to let them go to the party. Ah, oh, that is a very good example, good. Okay, so, and then it says, uh, hold on a second. It says, cows, her laziness caused her to fail the class. Okay, of course, cows and effects. Challenge, uh, that is well common to be used in that one. He challenged me to raise him to the corner. Okay. Command. What is to command? To get an order. Okay, yeah. So it's to, to provide or to get an order. Nice. Rick commanded the dogs to sit. Very good. Convince. I couldn't convince her to accept the money. Good. Dare. She dared me to do better than she had done. What is there? Do you remember? Challenge. Okay. It's similar to challenge when I say, I want to know if you are able to, right? So you can do this or this other thing. Encourage. We checked that already. My parents always encouraged me to do my best at school. Also, we have checked SPECT. I expect you to be on time. Forbid, what is to forbid? To avoid to do something, deny. Well, to deny, to avoid, very good, to prohibit, right? So I forbid you to tell her, you cannot tell her, good. Force, uh, she forced me to tell the truth. Get, we couldn't get him to stop. 
So you can see that there are a lot of verbs, right? So hate. I'd hate you to spend the best years of your life doing that. Huh? That is kind of interesting. Help. I helped an old lady to carry her bags into the house. Hire. What is to hire? To hire is to give something a job. Very good. To give somebody a job. So she hired a nurse to take care so. of Good. Instruct. Uh, Miss Reed instructed us to read the text twice. Good instruction. Intend. What is to intend? Intend. Something to try. Like to try. Very good. So did you intend me to use this resource for the report? Okay. Invite. I invited Tania to come to my birthday party. So a lot of verbs you can see. Leave. I think we should leave her to rest. Same structure. Like, I like my coffee to be hot. Mean, what is to mean? Mean is to clarify something. Very good, that is good. I didn't mean her to read this book by tomorrow. Okay. Need, we need that to help us fix the bicycle. Oblige, what is to oblige? Mm, to push somebody to do something. Very good, to, to push somebody to do an action. The circumstances oblige him to be careful about his health, definitely. Order, uh, the police ordered the driver to stop. Permit, she permitted the children or the children to stay up late. Pursuit, we have checked already. Uh, I pursued Mary to write an apology. Prefer or would prefer, I prefer you to come along. Press, what is to press? I press, press is something like... Uh... Mm, something like to push to, to push to, to. To put somebody under pressure, right? So, yeah, the police, uh, the police pressed me to talk about uh, what had happened last night. Now, oh, good. Recommend. The doctor recommended me to stay at home for two days. Remind. He reminded me to lock the door. Require. Our teacher requires us to be on time. Request, my family requested you to stay with us. Teach, my brother taught me how to swim. Tell, my mo oh, mother told me to be home by 10. Tempt, what is to tempt? <laughs> Ten is to, to, to get an impulse. Very good. So it's like a temptation that you can receive, right? Yes. So, so curiosity tempted me to ask her about her husband. Okay. Trouble, Catherine, may I trouble you to continue reading? So the same structure, right? Urge, we checked that already or not, right? What is to urge? Is required to do something fast? Very good. So in, in I, the previous teacher, in the previous Catherine, may I trouble you to continue? It's something like a, uh, an apologize for interrupting her. In, yeah, something like that one. It's like, uh, can I, I make you a little bit, uh, can I cause your problem by reading something? But it's a polite way for you to ask somebody to do something. Uh, okay, yes. Good. Want, we checked that already. I want you to be happy. One as well, Tara want me not to drive too fast. Wish this, this is a uh, warm, warm, yes, yes, sorry. Okay. I see warm. Ah, okay. okay. Yeah. So wish, I wish you to do something for me. And I would like, okay. So it's going to be, I would like you to be my friend. Very good. 
Any questions about this? There are a lot of verbs. Uh, how to know which one is going to be here or in the general? We need to know by heart, my friends. That, that is the only, the only thing. Okay, very good. Okay, the, the other the other form of the verb instead of, of infinitive is germ. Yeah. Well, yeah, we can use, uh, well, as we discussed, I believe in the previous module, sometimes it's possible to use either or, right? Either a gerund or an infinitive. Sometimes yeah. it's possible to use only the infinitive and sometimes it's possible to use gerund as a second Both of them, yes. Yeah. Yes, okay, thank you. Very good, perfect. Any other question about this? No questions. So we're gonna see a video and then we're gonna do an activity, okay? Which is kind of interesting. So here we go. Here's a question for you. Do you often take part in meetings? If so, then you need to watch this lesson. Welcome back to English for Professionals. I'm Derek and I'm here with another short lesson for you busy people. Before we get started, just a quick reminder to subscribe to my channel, hit the red subscribe button and click on the little bell. In this lesson, I'm going to show you 10 great verbs you need to know for business meetings. I'll introduce <laughs> each one, explain the meaning and then show you two ways you can use it. So two example sentences. And you'll also have the chance to repeat and practice the sentences with me. Are you ready for the first one? Let's try it. Up first is run through. Run through. So if you run through something, you read it, look at it or explain it quickly. Now this is often used by the chairperson, the person who leads the meeting. Now let's have a look at two examples. Alex, could you run through the main points from the report, please? Say it with me. Alex, could you run through the main points from the report, please? I'm just going to run through the main project goals again. Say it with me. I'm just going to run through the main project goals again. Next up, we have address. Address. Now, this verb is often used together with issue or problem. If you address an issue or a problem, you start trying to solve it. Let's have a look at two examples. There are several issues that need to be addressed in this meeting. Say it with me. There are several issues that need to be addressed in this meeting. I think we need to address this problem immediately. Say it with me. I think we need to address this problem immediately. And here's a tip for you. Deal with is a phrasal verb which is also often used in the same way as address. So they're very similar. Often used with issue or problem. Deal with an issue, deal with a problem. And number three is consider. Consider. So this means to think about something carefully before making a choice or decision. Our examples are we have to consider all the options before making a decision. Say it with me. We have to consider all the options before making a decision. Have you considered reducing training costs? Say it with me. Have you considered reducing training costs? And here's another tip for you. When we use consider together with another verb, like in this example, then we need to use the in form, also called the gerund. So what do we have next? Bring up, bring up. This is a great one. People use this all the time in meetings. So what does it mean? It means to mention a subject or to start to talk about it. And our examples are, that's a very important point. I'm glad you brought it up. Say it with me. That's a very important point. I'm glad you brought it up. I don't understand why you're bringing this up now. It's not relevant. Say it with me. I don't understand why you're bringing this up now. It's not relevant. So the next one is move on. 
move on. This is another one that's often used by the chairperson. This means to start talking about a new subject. And here are two examples. We can't agree on this now, so I think it's best that we move on to the next item on the agenda. Say it with me. We can't agree on this now, so I think it's best that we move on to the next item on the agenda. Before we move on, does anybody have anything to add? Say it with me. Before we move on, does anybody have anything to add? That last example is a great introduction to number six. Add. Add. So this means to say more about something that has just been said. And our examples? I'd like to add something before we move on. Say it with me. I'd like to add something before we move on. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Say it with me. Is there anything else you'd like to add? And our next verb is clarify. Clarify. So this means to make something clearer or easier to understand. Our examples. Could you clarify the first point, please? I don't understand it completely. Say it with me. Could you clarify the first point, please? I don't understand it completely. I know this is a lot of information, so please let me know if you need me to clarify anything. Say it with me. I know this is a lot of information, so please let me know if you need me to clarify anything. Number eight is comment. Comment. This is often used together with on, and it means to express an opinion about someone or something. Our examples. Would anyone else like to comment on this? Say it with me. Would anyone else like to comment on this? This is important, so I'd like everyone to comment. Say it with me. This is important, so I'd like everyone to comment. So we're coming close to the end now, and number nine is rush. Rush. So this means to do or decide something too quickly. Let's have a look at two examples. We need to take some more time to consider this. We shouldn't rush it. Say it with me. We need to take some more time to consider this. We shouldn't rush it. We can't afford to rush this decision. It's too important. Say it with me. We can't afford to rush this decision. It's too important. So we've come to our final verb, and it is wrap up, wrap up, and this means to finish a meeting. Our examples. Before we wrap up, I'd just like to thank everybody for being here today. Say it with me. Before we wrap up, I'd just like to thank everybody for being here today. If nobody has anything else to add, then I think we'll wrap this up. Say it with me. If nobody has anything else to add, then I think we'll wrap this up. Great. So there we have it. Ten essential verbs for business meetings. Can you use any of them in your own example sentences? If so, let me know in the comments, and I'll get back to you. You'll find all the verbs and the examples listed in the description below. I hope you found it helpful, and I hope you can use some of them in your next business meeting. If you liked the lesson, please share with your friends and colleagues. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done that already, and join my email list. Every okay.、Uh, what did you get from the video? Very important information is some. Like address, address. Mainly, we need the, that word. But like,、uh, where is the location of something? But in this case, address is for uh, to uh, what they say. Say that、uh, another phrase or verb to to use in, instead of address. But is put something in the agenda, something like that. Very good. And I think it is uses uses to when somebody get a speak. Yeah, definitely. I mean, you can use it in that way as well. Yeah. Okay. Good. Perfect. Thank you. Any other comment about the video?
this guy is something like uh, it's not that uh, completely American. I I I, I listen to some some kind of accent, but I don't know. That is true. So he is not. It's not a American English, definitely. So that is something. He's uh, he's not from England, but he's near a country of England. I don't remember exactly where is it, but it's something like that. Okay. Good. Perfect. Any other comments? Okay, so we're going to do a writing practice today. So you there in front, you have and the example of the email, right? So what we're gonna do is we're going to type an email, okay? So this is like this. You are going to think about a topic that you want to send in a business email. It has to be business related about anything, whatever you want to say, okay? Once you have it there, you are going to share it with us, meaning that you are going to send the text into the chat and then you are going to read the email, okay? Of course, you can use the grammar that we just checked, the verbs, the infinitive forms, anything that you may want to use. It has to be with from and to with the emails, the date, the subject, and then the body of the, of the email. So any questions about the activity that we're gonna do right now? No teacher is clear. Okay. If there are no questions, then I'm going to give you several minutes for you to finish, and then we're going to start sharing, okay? So let's give it a shot. And if you have questions, of course, let me know. I will leave the email there so you have the idea, right? But of course, it's going to be something different.
have you finished already or do you need more time? I think we need a couple of minutes more. Teacher. Of, of course, I will leave. Don't worry.
Okay, have you finished already? Oh, yet? Or yes. yes okay, what about the rest of the class? Are you ready? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Cool. So what we're gonna do is this. Uh, uh, I want you to, uh, I will mention your name and you are going to send that to the chat. Just copy and paste if you want. And then um, you are going to read and that's it. I mean, and the rest of the class, if you have any opinions to help everybody to improve, of course, it's a good idea. So um, let's start with David Samuel. Let's see how it goes. So could you please send the email to the chat and then Okay, teacher, let me copy. Sorry. Tell your time, don't worry. Okay, here it is. I put it in the chat. Okay. Nice, I can see it right now. So could you please read it? Yes. From the, the names, the, the, the day, the subject, and the, the main information. Dear Mrs. Ferris, thank you for your interest in our products. We are sending our latest catalog for you to choose a brand or a specific products. We will be pleased to see our products in your stores. We can offer it to you. Brand new shoes for ladies, heavy sports shoes for athletes, special designing shoes for children, comfortable shoes for ladies, and security shoes for construction, warehousing, and security workers. We will be waiting for your comments, questions, and requests. Sincerely, Mr. Galdavis. Good, perfect. Anybody has an observation or a comment or anything like that? It was very, very good, very complete. Uh, maybe the only thing is that dear mistress, the period there, right? Mistress, oh, okay. yes, yes, and, yes, yes. Uh, maybe at the end, we will be waiting for the comments, questions, and requests, period. Those okay. are the only ones, but the rest is very, very good. Okay, thank you. Perfect. Teacher. Thank you for being the first one. Now we're gonna continue with Dora. Could you please help us, Dora? Yes, teacher. Go ahead. So please send the email to the chat and then okay. I will let you know. Perfect. So now could you please read it? Um, <clears throat> from Doris Flores gmail.com to Manolo gmail.com. Okay, okay, let's wait. From Doris Flores arroba in English. Uh, um, <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> don't worry, that's what we're practicing. Mm -hmm. At very good. At okay. At gmail.com. Okay, to oh, Manolo at gmail.com. Mm, very good. Really. Please continue. Date October 24th, 20, 2022. Okay. Dear Mr. Torres, I received your message by WhatsApp. I understood you need to help about your calculation, calculation or employee benefit of your employees. Uh, could you send me the next information about employees, please? A, names. B, salaries. C, work time. And another information you consider necessary. Very good, perfect. That sounds mm -hmm. very nice. Anybody mm -hmm. has a comment or opinion for Dora to improve? Okay, so uh, in my opinion, it's very complete, maybe only an ending, right? A closing. Ah, uh, yes. 
Thank you for your time. I will be expecting or anything and okay. kind regards or anything like that one, right? So that will be the only thing, but everything seems to be fine. October, remember that is October, right? And uh, maybe about four oh, calculating, maybe. maybe uh, okay, very good. And then uh, about the calculations, maybe it would be better. But other than that, it's very good. Perfect, Dora. Now we're going to continue with William Ramirez. Can I send you a picture because I am on my phone? Definitely, you can send a screenshot. That is not a problem. Okay. I can, teacher. Really? You can present as well if you want. I can stop presenting. If you want to present, I can do that as well. Okay. Yeah, maybe it's easier. Okay, from... William one two three four five at email dot com to Peraza uh, underscore. I don't know how to say that. That is underscore underscore one at gmail dot com. Okay. Underscore. Okay. Uh, date October twenty fourth, two thousand twenty two. And subject invoice number 55 uh dear mr peraza i hope you, it, this email finds you well thank you for your last email i would like to inform you that your order has been invoiced and you will be delivered in this next week the amount of the package is uh, 100 including taxes any question or comments i'm at your service have a nice day all my best, William. Very, very good. Nice. I liked it. And uh, any comments from the class? Yeah, no comments. Actually, it seems very nice. Very good. Perfect. Thank you, William. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Uh, you can stop presenting if you want. So the next one is Irwin Lagos. You can either uh, present or you can either send the, the email on the chat. Yes, teacher, but bring me a moment. Take your time, don't worry. Okay. Yes. Sorry, teacher, I have a problem. I can't do it because I have a well as some customer. I'm sorry? I can do it because I asked for some customer in that moment. Ah, okay. So is it possible for you to do it later on? Yes. Okay, good. So let's go then to Ramon. Is it possible yeah. for you? Ah, okay. Juan Miguel. Let's check with Juan Miguel. Okay. Just let me share on the chat. Okay. Whatever you want. Okay. Good. Got it. Uh, there is in the chat. Yeah. Um, um, at gmail.com to a maja at gmail.com date of cover 24 20 and 22 
subject about the IT maintenance plan. Maintenance. Maintenance. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. This is Maya. This email is to inform you about the IT maintenance plan, maintenance plan, which it will be done between November 1st to 15th. We need your entire collaboration as you have asked and to communicate this schedule to people who you are in charge of. From my side, I have to tell you that the main server is scheduled from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. I don't, I, I didn't tell when, but the first day, okay? Okay, <laughs> okay. Yeah, I know the outgoing services would be, would, would experiment some issues related. Thanks for reading this. Best regards, M. Gran. Very good. Very nice. Good. Any comments, uh, opinions for Juan Miguel? Okay. It seems very good. Actually, very nice. I liked it a lot. Maybe the only thing that I can see is what it says for my side. It should be from my side. Other than that, everything is perfect. Good. So, uh, so sorry, I didn't hear you. Uh, instead of my side, what will it be better? It would be better if you say from my side. Ah, okay, okay, from my side. Okay, okay. thank you. Very good, thank perfect. You. Okay, Ramon is not here, right? Uh, Jessica Janari. Not available, teacher. Ah, okay, no problem. Uh, yes, Fernan ah, okay, Fernando Gonzalez, good. Okay, uh, I'm seeing you in the chat. Okay. Okay, from Fernando underscore, right? Yeah, underscore. Okay, from Fernando underscore Gonzalez at mail.com to Juan underscore Ayala at mail.com. Day October 24, 2022, 9.50 p.m. 9.15, 9.15 p.m. Okay. Okay, uh, subject, monthly committee meeting. Uh, sorry. Here, sorry. Dear Mr. Ayala, I really appreciate your help at the last meeting. And again, I need a favor from you with the monthly committee meeting next week. We have tried to prepare all the reports and I have no doubt, no doubt that you will make an excellent presentation of the achievement of the last semester. I know you know all the topics that we will present them, but I want to make a special mention of the sales index of the new product separately, separately, or separately because we need to show the importance it has in our objectives. Thanks in advance, Fernando Gonzalez. Very good, perfect, very nice, I liked it. So any comments on this? Maybe in, I really appreciate your help in the last meeting it will be, I want to thank you for your help in the last meeting. And I need to ask a favor from you. I don't know if it's correct. Yeah, that would be a good, a good uh, upgrowth. So that would be good, very nice, very good, thank okay. you. Thank you. Any other? I really like it. I don't see any major thing. Maybe the only thing is hitting PM, P period, M period. But other than that, nice. I liked it. Very good. Thank you, Fernando. Okay. So let's check name Fernando Ernesto Cosme. Okay. Uh, from uh, I don't know. We had to start from all the uh, the, the first fields or only the, the body of the email. Everything, please, just to practice about the email perks. Okay, from F Cosme uh, that at groups that group cm dot com dot sd. To Hugo Punto Martinez 
ad.mercandu.com.sb uh, date of cover uh, 24th uh, 2022 subject new features app dear mr martinez thank you for your loyalty with our services in this case we are writing you to offer our news app a little for having a better control of your inventory and improve your sales a new delivery roads handler, price level for your products, e-commerce inside the app. If you want, we can schedule a meeting for showing you a demo. I am waiting for your comments or ups. Regards, Mr. Cosman, Fernando Cosman. Very well, perfect. Any comments on this one? Okay, it was very well structured, very nice, very nice. And I don't see any comment on my side. So very good job, Fernando. Good, now, uh, Ana Claudia. Okay. Okay, it will be from store underscore one at mail.com to one dash p at mail.com. And the date is October the 25th, 2022. And the subject is order shipped. Dear Mr. Lopez, thank you for your time today. Let me inform you that your recent order placed over the phone, oh, I, I repeat today, <laughs> is already shipped. You will find in the box a vehicle gateway, a road facing dash cam, one cable 3043. You will find the instructions on how to install them in the box. If further assistance is required, please call to technical support at 855-416-3535. Best regards, Anna. Very good, very nice. Any comments on the email from uh, Anna Claudia? Okay, no comments. Actually, I find it very good as well. The structure is very nice. The grammar is very good. Everything is fine. Perfect. Thank you, Ana Claudia. Thank you. Good. Now we're going to listen to Marcus Ayala. Okay, teacher. Okay. Okay. Uh, from mayala.gmail.com to moving. Uh, gmail.com at Day gmail mm -hmm. at okay at gmail.com day of 24 2022 subject improvement and changing the system of sales dear mr johnson thank you for your last bit about the new requirements and all the observation all you have already given us are in progress to develop so as soon as possible, we let you know when all the problems are fixed and new changes requests are obliged. So you can test again. If you have something more to add, please let me know. Regards. Perfect. Very good. Thank you. Uh, any comments on this? Okay. On my side, I don't see any problem. The only thing is, dear mistress, period is Johnson. Other than that, everything seems very fine, okay? Okay. okay. Good, okay. perfect. Roberto Luis Sumaña, is it possible for you? Not possible. Uh, Zuleima Yvonne Moreno. Not possible either. Uh, Francisco Eduardo Figueroa. No teacher. Okay, so please share the email and then read it. Sorry, teacher. Uh, in the Zoom chat. Yeah, if you, uh, I mean, you have the two options. You can present your screen or you can just copy and paste it on the chat so we can, we, everybody can see it. Okay, teacher. Uh, I sent uh, for the Zoom chat, in the, in the Zoom chat. 
uh, but uh, we're here in this chat or in the WhatsApp chat. Uh, in... Give me a second. Uh, in the WhatsApp group, this year. Ah, okay. Let me then just check there. Oh my goodness, but we don't. I don't see it there. To be honest. Uh, no, this year, In this moment. <laughs> ah, okay, so, okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. Sure. Uh, my sample is very short, this year. <laughs> Sorry. Don't worry. <laughs> oh, I have it here. So everybody can see it there in the WhatsApp group, right? So. Okay, now you can read it. Okay. Uh, uh, subject is part for a scanner, part number P052389. Status received. Dear Mr. Garcia, I confirm that the spare for the scanner, part number P052389, it was received. We compare the specification with the purchase order and all is correct. We hope, they, we hope to receive the rest of the order this week. Thank you for your stance. Thanks for your support. Okay, Only very well. Issue. Nice. Anybody has a comment about that one? Okay. Uh, well, on my side, uh, let me just check with, if that is misspelled. And also, let me check. Maybe thing uh, for your support might be better separate or a period and then separate that one in kind regards or something like that. But the rest is good. Very good. Perfect, Francisco. Thank you, Dish. Good. Now, Roxana Asensio. Okay, let me see. Okay. Hmm. Okay, from Roxana that Asensio at, sorry, that is right. No, at Punto, is that. the sign, uh -huh, at. Uh -huh. Roxana that Asensio at statras.com. To Adonai that Mejia at hotmail.com. Date, October 34th, 2022. Subject, second bilingual key account manager. Dear Mr. Mr. Mejia, I wanted to reach out directly to discuss or open opportunities here at State Trust. We are growing and seeking to add the most talented individuals who enjoy working in a collaborative environment. I would love to share more about the exciting project our team is working on. Below, you will find a link to our open position roles. Please let me know if it's possible for you provide your resume, 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 thank you, resume, and schedule an appointment. I, I'll be waiting for your comments, questions, and requests. Best regards, Miss Asensio. Very good, perfect. Anybody has any comment about this email? Okay, very good. Actually, I really liked it. The structure is very good and it's very clear. Everything is fine and grammar is just very properly. The only thing is here, dear a mistress, mistress with a period. That's the only thing. Oh, okay. I, I have a question, teacher. Um, well, when I send some emails uh, and I receive a uh, feedback or something like that, some person uh, answer with phrases like, uh, if you have a, a question, don't hesitate to consult me. How is the most formal? Hesitate or, uh, for example, in that case, if you, uh, please let me know if you uh, have a question about something. Um, both ways are correct. There is not that, I mean, it's not that one is more formal than the other one. Maybe mm -hmm. uh, this is like etiquette for emails. The most common maybe might be, if any questions, let me know. Maybe that will be 
the, the regular one. But there are, I mean, there are people that they do that in different ways and both ways is, is good enough. Okay. Thank okay. you. Okay, you're welcome. Very good. Nice. Next one is uh, Jarvin Isaac. Okay, teacher. Let me send. Okay. 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 From herbimira at gmail.com to support at gmail.com. Hi, HD department. Everyone are invited to meeting on Monday. This meeting is to clarify some points to the new program that will be added to the system to work with. Point to discuss how to use, how to work in it, use time. If you have any question, please let us know. Thanks, Arvin Miranda. Very good. Any questions or comments about this one, my friends? Okay, yeah, on my side there are, to be honest with you, no comments, everything seems to be fine and the structure is good and it's very clear. Very good, perfect. Thank you, Jarvin. Um, the only one that has not presented is Jose Wilfredo. I don't know if you were able to do it. Teacher, I'm really apologize because I have a power outreach. So okay, no worries. I don't know. Very, okay, perfect. No I'm worries. Apologies. Okay, no, no worries. Okay, my friends, so today was kind of different because we checked and we sent emails and we were discussing two different kinds of grammar. So uh, do you have any questions with the class of today? Everything mm -hmm. was fine and clear as our chat as usual. Very good, my friends. So uh, then if there are no questions, of course, I will check the attendance and we will be finished the class of today. Also, let me tell you that the, the um, one or one of today is going to be for Fernando Marvin Gonzalez, okay? So let's, good, good. So let's check the attendance, my friends. Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velázquez. Present teacher. Good. Andrés Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. David Samuel Galdames Monterrosa. Present teacher. Good. Dora Elizabeth Flores Méndez. Present. Good. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Good. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Good. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Good. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Jarvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present. Good. Jose Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. Jose Osmin Rivas Navas. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Good. Juan Miguel Bran Mejía. Teacher. Good. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Roberto Luis Umaña Orellana. Roxana Yvette Asensio de Mejía. Present. Good. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Good. Jessica Janari Cortez Díaz. No, bien. Good. Zuleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Good. And Irwin Lagos Andrade. Present. Very good. Okay, my friends, it was a pleasure to be with you tonight. I hope you have a very good night. Rest very well and see you tomorrow. Dream in English. Good night. Bye-bye, everybody. Thank you, teacher. Good Thank night. you, teacher. Good night. Good, good, night. good night to everyone. Good night. Good night. Bye. Night.
Okay, hello, Fernando, how are you? Okay, well, I'm, I'm well, <laughs> I'm good, <laughs> I'm good. Okay, yeah, it's very I, good to see you again in this course, so it's, it's very nice. Yeah, it's really hard for me to see, you know, but I try. I try to take the most of of the class, but you know, the, the traffic today is very, very awful. I know, I know it's difficult and I, I know, um, I mean, the effort that you do is um, something different, but the good thing is that we're here and that we are learning and practicing. So that is very nice. Yeah, I try to, I try to, I try to participate a little because, you know, I, I, I arrive at home and I, I'm, I'm starving and I need to do hunger with my children. And, you know, I, <laughs> I have uh, um, topics or asuntos. Yeah, have, yeah, topics. I have topics in my house, so, <laughs> uh, so I I arrive late, and after that, I need time to my family. So, for um, ponernos al día, ¿cómo sería, uh, You can say keep it up or get up to date. Uh, yeah, get up today. I know that phrase. Yeah, I get up today, so it's you know I have have I have family, and after that I try to put attention to the class and I try to participate uh, one time at least, and I try to put attention reading and do the exercise and you know I, I think that. I am doing my best. Very good. Actually, we can feel it. I mean, I can see that you are improving, that you are trying. I know that for you it's difficult because you commute a long distance and that and the traffic in that part, I know. <laughs> and, and I, I commute for the most hard street. Most I hard know. Street in, the, in, in this country, maybe, I don't know. But yeah. Los Chorros is... It's crazy, yeah. It's crazy, yeah. And yeah. they say that, huh? Yeah, it, sometimes I, I, I cannot take the class because I, I arrive late, very late. And the the last week, I guess Wednesday, I guess I don't remember. I arrive at ten p.m. at home. Ten p.m., my friend. Really? Yeah, 10 PM. Why? <laughs> ten p.m. because you know always always has accident and when and the, the the rain is other is other problem so that's, it's very very complicated but i try okay very well the good thing is that one that you keep on trying and that you keep on improving so and also i i can see i can see that you are improving you are speaking and i see that you are always participating that is very very good yeah, I try to participate when when other people not not able to participate because I really I really need practice uh, uh, five minutes at, at least because it's the only it's the only time when I talk with other people with you and and, and, and the others and because in the day I try to review some videos or or at at lunch I. I watch uh, a series okay. with with the title in English, and I try to I try to I don't know understand the the, the conversation because you know the the method speaker is other level. But I try I really try I um, in social media I really try to to watch uh, the most of the period that I can. Um, okay, that's it. Yeah, and that is very good. Uh, that is very good. I know that the effort is a lot, but well, the good thing is that you're almost done. I mean, you're almost finished. You will be finished. I mean, this is advanced three, so you are getting there. So nice, very good. Yeah, okay, teacher, thank you. It's a pleasure. And uh, let me ask you, uh, do you have any questions about this module or the previous module or anything that we have checked? Um. No, no specific question, teacher. You know, there is a lot of thing that that I I don't know, but you know, I we are here trying to learn, 
and the most of we can because um you know the most of the class i lost but uh i try to put attention when when i have the time i try to put my effective attention because it's the only time that i that i learn and about the the module uh, i think that is the is the same method of the last module and the previous so uh this met this method i i think that it's good but maybe it's my fault that i don't uh take advantage as it will be no uh it, it could be as it could be but i try so i really appreciate your your help and uh, the the test and uh, when you send the the link to the activities for practice and i try to do i try to do to do make the the the, the activities because is it's an effective way to learn and um, for i don't know i i like to the, the activities for when 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 we when we oh sorry <laughs> we have uh, when we have to read because um because i i don't know i practice my 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 reading and i i maybe i try to always review the link that you send because the that articles are very interesting some articles are very interesting and i found the way that it writing it's very simple and and are very i don't know very interesting and very clearly some word that i don't know but uh, the most of the of the context i understand and i like it i really like it i really like it understand the paragraph maybe not the the complete uh, the complete words, not all the words, but maybe in one paragraph, in one paragraph, uh, there are I don't know four or five words that I don't understand, but the most of the paragraph I understand and I really like it. Understand a paragraph, or or maybe when I watch in a, a video, I really like it. Understand um, the most of the of the person uh, speak, and I don't know. Really, I appreciate this this course, and I feel that um, I need more time. But you know, my work, and I really uh, lament. I'm really sorry. Uh, I really, I really sorry that I don't have the the, the complete time to, because you know, I, we are in three advanced three, and only had. Six, right? Yeah, six. So it's the mirror of the advance. And I, I think that I really in this in this level, uh I think that I'm be able to speak and reading and writing more fluent in that I can. Um I don't know. <laughs> so the opportunity is, is is here, but the time is limited, so but okay. Yeah, I totally understand. Yeah, but the good thing is that you're practicing and it's good what you do. I mean, if you continue, if you read the paragraphs, if you find new vocabulary and you learn the new words and try to use it, then, uh, I mean, that is the, the way it is. So you're doing the right path. Uh, yeah, definitely. We need more time, but if you are using your time wisely, uh, you will be able to, to achieve your goal. So that is going to be very good. Yeah, I I will try. My best, always. Perfect. That is it's good to hear that one. You understand me. <laughs> oh, I understand everything that you say. That is very good. So, and uh, yeah, you have improved, you know, from the, uh, we've been together for three modules. So now I see the difference. So it's very good. Very nice. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, really. I, I, I have a better, better level maybe, but uh, for that reason, uh, I'm really sorry that I don't have the time to improve more because I know that I'm able to to be better, but uh, in the future. <laughs> Definitely. So 
just move on and you will be there. So very good. So it was a pleasure to be with you tonight. I hope you have a very good night. And of course, see you tomorrow. Okay, teacher. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Okay, bye-bye now. See you well.